In the 2002 James Bond movie called Die Another Day, we get introduced to the invisible Aston Martin car. James Bond was able to sneak up on his enemies and get closer to them than he should. Now imagine if James Bond had an invisible tank, he would be unstoppable. This is what the Polish defense contractor Obrum is and has been working on since 2013 with the help of Bay Systems. Now I need to clarify the invisible part. The tank is not invisible to the eyes, but invisible from radar and infrared sensors, so it's not detectable by heat signatures or radar stations from another military. We wouldn't want any army to be completely invisible now would we? Now don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future information. The invisible tank is called the PL-01 and it's developed by Obram and Bay Systems. It's based on the Swedish combat vehicle 90 light tank. And yeah, I know, we Swedes have really boring names on our military equipment. The PL-01 weighs 35 tons, is 7 meters long and is manable by 3 people, the commander, driver and gunner. And it even has a compartment in the back to transport 4 soldiers to the battlefield. The primary weapon of the PL-01 is a 105mm or 120mm cannon, which is unmanned and controlled remotely. It features anti-tank guided rounds and regular rounds. It is equipped with multiple layers of a modular ceramic aramid shell, which could be replaced in the field if sections took damage. In addition to the hard shell of armor, the shell can protect the crew from landmines and improvised explosive devices and it's even designed to withstand an explosion, equivalent of 10 kilos of TNT. Now what we've all been waiting for, the invisibility, or well, the infrared and radar invisibility. The tank has a technology called adaptive, all around the hull. It's a thermal camouflage which makes it incredibly harder to detect with thermal sensors. The adaptive technology works by covering the tank in an array of hexagonal peltier plates. These plates can be rapidly heated and cooled to form any desired images, such as a natural background or the heat signature of a car. The peltier plates, or the peltier effect, is a discovery that was made in 1834 by John Charles Peltier. This technology is used by a lot of technologies these days. It works by transferring heat from one side to the other side with the consumption of electrical energy, all depending on the direction of the current. This is used in some refrigerators because of its long life, invulnerability to leaks and its small size. While it is pretty sad that we don't have invisible tanks yet, or at least that we know of, it is actually something the United States military is actively exploring. DARPA, or US Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, which is the research wing of the Pentagon, has received a $15 million funding over three years to research metamaterials, which cloaks US soldiers and even their shadows. When this will succeed, which it most probably will, as the physics on this subject is supported, they'll move their invisibility technology to their tanks. While it is a pretty cool concept to think of invisible tanks, we might not see them for a while. But when we do, what country do you think will have the technology first? Let us know in the comments, I read them all.